Hi everybody, Susan here with Pumpkin Hill Stampers. I have a Stampin' Show and Tell to share with you today. This is a card that um, I'm casing from online, I saw this on Pinterest, where they're going to emboss and then use the blends to color the emboss. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to be using the All the Good Things stamp set. Obviously we're going to be doing the Koi Fish. And I'm also going to be using the Tuffeted Designer Series um, embossing plate in our big shop. So those are the two things I'm going to be using. So let me go ahead and show you how I put this together. So my my uh, kit is pretty simple. I'm using a Whisper White card base and this one's going to open up and down. Then I have a thick white Whisper White mount that's just cut inside of that. And something neat on these new folders is we've got this straight line. So if you take your piece of cardstock and you put it in there and you line it up on that guideline, we'll call it, then you're sure to be getting a um, squared off impression when you run that through your Big Shot. Now this is a thick folder so you only have to use one cutting plate on top um, when you put that in to make your sandwich and when it comes out it's got these fun textured tuffeted um, sections. So that's really kind of cool. So that's what we're going to do for just our simple um, embossed background for that. Then I decided to use Cajun Craze and Real Red to color my koi fish with the blends. Um, koi fish are all kinds of colors, so if you want blues and greens or purples and greens or oranges and yellows, you, you use what you like. But today I am using Cajun Craze and Real Red. So I'm going to mount mine on a piece of Cajun Craze and then we're going to stamp and emboss on uh, basic black. So let me move these aside for a second. So what I'm going to do is take my stamp and with my Versamark I'm going to ink that up really well. Now this is one of our distinctive stamps so you want to get a nice even um, inking on there and then I'm going to stamp this hopefully right in the center. So I'm stamping that down. Okay, then I'm bringing in my white embossed powder. And I have one of these trays from years ago that I use. So I just pick up some of my embossing powder and shift that across my image. Okay, and then we're going to tap off the excess. You see I have a sample on the back. Don't waste cardstock. I can use the other side, I do, right? I hope you do too. So, there it is, all dusted up, and then I would use my heat gun and heat that. Now, I'm going to set this one aside and heat it after I finish my video, um, just to save a little bit of time, because we're also going to be coloring with the blends. But, I do have one that I've already heat set. Take that boss powder off. I've already heat set this one. So now, if I bring my blends in, I'm going to zoom in for you. I usually do when I do my coloring on my blends. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the light Cajun craze. And I'm just going to color right over my embossed area where I want to add some color. Okay, and then as we go, we're going to add darker colors as well. So these stamps are really great, these distinctive stamps, because they have such an impression that you get a lot of detail in the stamp, even just by stamping it. And then if you go back and you add multiple colors right over the top of your impression, you can have some really great effects on your projects. Okay, so that's my light Cajun craze. You saw me just brush that on. Now I'm going to go over it with my dark Cajun craze and just add a little bit of shading in some areas. Just a little bit. Okay. Now I'm going to come in with my dark real red and I'm going to add a little more. Right? Going right up to and close to where I have those other colors right over the top in some cases. 
So you can add the blend right over the top of your embossed image. Okay, and then one other thing I did is I came in here and I've highlighted the word longevity from this list of characteristics. Okay, but you could you could highlight success, you could highlight ambition, any of the ones you want. Um, prosperity, perseverance, courage, good fortune, or you could do two tones and alternate each one maybe. So there's lots of options you can do there. Another thing I thought after the fact was you could stamp this again and then cut that word out and pop it up on a dimensional. That would make it stand out even more. So now we just have to do some simple layering. So I'm just going to turn this one over and mount that right onto my Cajun craze like that. And my tuffeted is going to go right on the front of my card base. And then I'm going to add this one with some dimensionals. So I'm just going to put some dimensionals right in the corners. Give that a little lift. center that and we're good to go. So I hope you enjoyed that fun quick technique with our blends and our heat embossing. I know some of you really love to heat emboss and some of you really like to use blends. So I hope that together they make you even happier. So that's it for today for show and tell. I hope you enjoyed. Always remember you can get all the descriptions and the uh, video as well on my show and tell news which comes out every Tuesday. This week's videos are on next week's edition. You can subscribe to that for free below. Uh, I always love thumbs up and comments here on Facebook uh, and on YouTube and let me know that you are um, enjoying what I'm doing. So I'll keep at it. All right, everybody, have a great day and do some fun stamping. Bye-bye.